kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and this will be the part 7 of my video series on Firebase 2018 using Android Studio. All right guys, so in my previous video I showed you how to insert the data inside the Firebase database and now in this video I will teach you how to display the data or how to display the data of the specific user or logged in user. All right, so uh, for example if this user is signed into the application then we can fetch all the uh, fields and all the data inside that uh, user account okay so if you want to create a profile activity okay where you want to show the user name user password user email address user image okay then you uh, this video will be beneficial to you so let's get started so let's go to our android studio all right and so uh, this is the profile activity all right so what i am doing is i am just uh, displaying the data from the firebase authentication let's uh, go to our profile activity okay so here you can see that all right now i want a button here so that i fetch all the information from the firebase database so let's create a button here and let's say the text of the button as display data all right and let's try to change the background to color primary all right so whenever user presses this button so we need to fetch the data from the firebase database all right so how can we achieve that so in our profile activity here we need a database reference okay object and inside the our own create activity or own create method sorry we need to instance first of all equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference okay so this will point towards the uh, user uh, the root of our uh, database okay but we want to uh, it to be uh, to point towards this okay user current location so how can we do that so now we need to find the the user current uh, uh, unique user id so how can we find that unique user id so that we jump towards that okay so for that here we can say dot child and inside that we here we have this firebase authentication object and a user object so from there we can easily get the unique user id okay so that is it all right so now are this reference will be in case of this user harun at gmail.com uh, this reference will be pointing towards this unique user id okay 0lhxbsc so in this case so now we just want to display this these two fields password and the username so how can we do that so in our button click event okay so let's create a, bu a public void button click all right and inside our button click so let's first of all define the on click method here on click and button click event all right and inside our button click event now we need to use a add value event listener so we can say reference dot add value event listener and new value event listener all right in here we need to use the semicolon here all right so guys in uh, this on data change method will be called on every time the, the data is changed okay so here we have this data snapshot so we can uh, fetch the data using this data snapshot object so first of all here what we need to do is we can say that string 
let's say we want to display the username okay then we can say equals to data snapshot dot child okay since we the, the data snapshot is pointing towards this unique user id then we need another uh, the child of that okay data snapshot uh, data snapshot object so here we need to pass this username or password or any field we want to display so here we can say username all right and the, the next step is we need to use set okay we need to use dot get value dot to string all right so from there you can uh, get the data from your firebase database and also we can say string password equals to data snapshot dot child and inside that we can say the password dot get value dot to string all right guys so uh, this is the way of getting the data so if you don't want to use the button click event you can just cut that code and paste it inside your own create activity so whenever your activity is open so this value will be fetched from the server so let's just make it to the paste it here in our button click event and now we need to print those values so we can say toss dot make text get application context then we can say username and then we need a password and the password will be so toss dot length long dot show okay so here we need to use plus all right guys so that is it and in our own cancelled method if the if there is any issue or any error or uh, the database connection is uh, cancelled so we can display a message here database error dot get message dos dot get then show dot show all right guys so that was it so let's try to run our application and let's see if our application works or not here i have the phone connected with the database or uh, uh, sorry the pc all right so here now the application is getting installed here and there you go uh, now our application is running now so now first of all we need to log in and let's click on login part and let's see our users so we have these two uh, users so first of all let's try to uh, sign in using this user id harun at gmail.com okay and let's say harun at gmail.com and let's say password is one two three four five six seven eight okay and if i try to log in so here you can see user logged in successfully okay so now we need to uh, display the, the data so uh, we click on this button and here you can see harwan at gmail.com and the password is shown here all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye